Good evening, everyone. Guess what? With this break right here, we did it. We filled up the Black Friday promo. We, we filled up all the required breaks for the Black Friday promo, which we extended till today, Monday. So I appreciate everybody taking advantage of that extra time. I know everyone's busy with Thanksgiving and whatnot over the weekend, but um, now we can do this. So in a separate video, I'm going to take everybody from these breaks and randomize them in the top 20. We'll get those prizes, those following prizes right there. So big thanks to everybody for unlocking the Black Friday promo. This is Ascension number three. And there's also holiday scratchers involved in this break too. So double the prizes. All right, so full 12 box, pick your team number three. Good luck everybody on a Monday. Thanks for joining us. There's everyone right here. Will there be more Ascension later, asks David. Yes, there will be. Now that now that that uh, now that that promo is full, we can uh, we can re-add some uh, some more stuff to the site. We just want to be strategic about that so people can can funnel the money into these prize-winning breaks. So we wanted people to win prizes, but now that those prizes are unlocked, we can get every, get everything else going. Oh, come on, quarter. So we'll add more ascension. <laughs> First, uh, I've only done, we've well, actually, we've only done two cases of this. Nick did one over the weekend. I don't know what Nick pulled over the weekend, but uh, in the last Pick Your Team, I pulled a, uh, a Lonzo Ball autograph, on-card auto, which was nice. So, hopefully we'll find some more of the other, uh, some of the other big name rookies in the hobby. And this one, here's box one, good luck. I'm actually watching a little bit of the Lakers Clippers right now. They're coming down to the wire. The glare of the studio lights is in the way of the score. But it looks like the Clippers are up two with a couple minutes left. Hey, just, just under four minutes left. Looks like the Clippers are up by two. So this is coming down to... Coming down to the wire. This would be a big win for the Lakers because then they, I think they have a whole string of really difficult games. So it would be nice to, to beat the Clippers who have been struggling as of late. So it would be good to take advantage of that, of that win. What is happening in this game? Looks like, looks like KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope, has 27 points, 11 of 26 shooting, 5 from 11 behind the three-point arc. He's got a handful of rebounds, got five rebounds, an assist, a few uh, a few steals. Oh, just one turnover. There we go. Who else is do putting in work? Looks like we've got a lot of Lakers double, double digits scoring. Brandon Inger with 14. Three rebounds and an assist, 14, 3, and 1. Lonzo Ball struggling tonight, playing only 22 minutes thus far. Three points, but he's got six assists, a rebound, and a steal. All right, good for him. Looks like Julius Randle. In 21 minutes of work, has 11 points, a couple rebounds, and an assist. Kuzma, I really like what Kyle Kuzma's been doing. He's got 15 points, two rebounds, and three assists. And got Jordan Clarkson in double-digit scoring, too. He's got four, uh, 17, 8, and 5. It's a nice night for him. All right. Hopefully this will be a nice break for you guys. And pick your team three. Good luck. Miles Turner leads us off at the one. A lot of different inserts here. Nice. Malik Monk die cut. We've got 23 out of 75. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Insert for the Bucks. That'll be for Jeremy Tillman. And we've got our first rookie ascent autograph. Jerron Blossom game. For the Spurs, one of my favorite names in the hobby. Jeremy Tillman with the San Antonio Spurs. 72 out of 75. Nice. Out of 75, Tony Bradley. Out of 25, Tony Bradley for the Utah Jazz. That'll go to EA Sports. I'll even save these Ben Simmons. I know he's not rookie Ben Simmons, but I figured there's still some value there. 
Oh, that's Nuggets edition of Carmelo Anthony. Nice. Nice insert. Josh Hart. And there's Julius Randle who's having a nice game against the Clippers tonight. We'll sleeve all those inserts up after the break. Next box. Oh, they didn't score. Hold on to the ball, Lakers. Nice. It's a one point game now. Got it to Brandon Ingram with a big dunk. It's exciting. 114, 113. Clippers. Battle for Los Angeles. Technically a Clippers home game. They both play at Staples. Nice. Go Lakers. Ooh. Just a little too far on that long pass. a lot of glue on these <laughs> on these wrappers here. There we go. Oh, come on, Lonzo. Gotta make better shots than that. Alright, poor Gordon Hayward. Here's Lonzo Ball who threw up an errant shot to try to Tie up the game out of 129. Yeah, the shooting percentage leaves something to be desired. It's Jeremy Lin. Nice victory insert for Russell Westbrook. Semi. And TJ Leaf, former UCLA star TJ Leaf. Rookie ascent for the Pacers. That'll go to Tim, Tim Mahoney with that. Oh God, just knocking over top loaders all over the place. Take the shot. Did not even hit the bucket. Did it hit the rim? Didn't. Another bad shot. TJ Leaf out of 299. I like these die cuts. The Lakers are trying to beat Blake Griffin right there. Clippers are giving him chances. Can't buy a shot right now. Four out of 75, Willie Hernan Gomez. Justin Patton. Carl Anthony Towns in the back. Oh, oh finally. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Great shot to get it within a point, less than a minute left, 48 seconds left. Timeout. Man, Lakers just couldn't buy a basket on the last few possessions. Down south, you missed the football mixer. Well, hopefully never again. Always check the website, jaspyshobbyland.com. Always fun stuff happening there. David's reporting the Kings beat the Warriors? No, they didn't. Wow, they did. 110 to 106. Cavs won three, uh, 113 91. Pacers taking care of the Magic 121 109. Pistons beat the Celtics 118 108. Portland beating the uh, Knicks 103 91. Rockets over the Nets 117 103. 
What are their score? What are the games are final here? And then uh, the in the battle for Texas, San Antonio Spurs beating the Dallas Mavericks. 115 to 108. I guess someone has to play Houston to see what happens there. Yeah, it's a long season. A long season. All right, next box. There's Kobe. Any guesses on the redemption? There's Frank Mason for the Kings. There's Bam. Insert for the Heat. There's LeBron. There's Aaron Gordon. Got to play that defense. There's Zach Collins to 129. 129? It's kind of a weird number, right? I want to talk to one of the Panini guys one day and be like, how do you come up with the numbers? Is there like a system? Is it arbitrary? I'm not sure. Last time we got a, uh, in, uh, redemption, it was Anthony Davis. This time it's... Ooh, nice. Rookie Ascent, Lori Markinen. Nice. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game with the Bulls. When we were doing Contenders Draft Picks and we pulled this guy, we were like, who? What? Boo. <laughs> no one wants this guy. Well, what a difference players actually playing games makes. Because now... He's a pretty, uh, pretty hot commodity. He's been playing very well for the Bulls. All right, next box. I don't think I'm going to beat my time on this previous break because I'm busy watching the Lakers-Clippers game right now. All right, Lakers are a point down. They have possession. There's 30 seconds left, so this might be pretty much the end. Take the shot, Kuz. Ingram. Oh, off the rim. Oh, you got to foul him. Yeah, you got to foul him now. Damn it. And, and, and there, were, there was a couple, there was a few minutes in the fourth quarter there where the Clippers were just giving the ball away. And they're just turning it over. Gave the Lakers a few free possessions. The Lakers could not capitalize on that. It looks like uh, Sweet Lou Williams, who used to be a Laker. Lou Williams. With a nice scoring opportunity, taking the, giving the Clippers a lead. Lakers miss the shot. box. Good luck, everybody. There's Dario Saric. 76ers looking good. We got Torin Prince out of 125 for the Atlanta Hawks. That'll be for James. John Collins for the Hawks. Another one for James. Eric Gordon for the Clippers. Insert. Clippers. That'd be Vic with the clip show. Brandon Ingram missed that Kind of a wide open shot, but oh, nice Frank Mason out of 50. And Dwayne Bacon insert. Mm, Bacon, Charlotte Hornets, Adam Kupperman with that. There's Zach Collins die cut, golden era, and Larry Nance Jr. is your autograph. Nice. Love it, Larry Nance Jr. 33 out of 178. Love that guy. Solid player for the Lakers. Jeremy Tillman with that one. How did he do tonight? He's got, so far he's got 9, 8, 
Nine and eight. There you go. That's pretty good. Almost a double double. Nine points, eight rebounds. That's fine. That's all right. Solid game for Larry Nance. Next box. Good luck, everybody. So after this, we'll, we will be doing the uh, the big randomizer for the Black Friday promo. I see a few orders coming in from Bill and Gary. So it looks like there are some people. I think the, the glue is a little bit easier to easier on this side right here. I think, uh, so they want a break. Maybe squeeze in another break before the night is done. We've got about, I don't know, 25 more minutes left in this one. And then once we're done with that, we'll do the uh, we'll do the randomizer for the big Black Friday promo, which is great. I'm glad we filled up the Black Friday promo. We gave it a couple extensions, and I think that did the trick. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much, everyone. So we'll be setting up the randomizer after this and running the promo and seeing who gets what. That'll be in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. And after that, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll squeeze in a short little break before we call it a night. Otherwise, I think we did pretty good today. I think we worked pretty hard today, so I appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice way to start out the week. I'm here Monday through Friday this week. So it's a special schedule this week. I want to take advantage of being here on uh, Cyber Monday. We do have some Cyber Monday giveaways on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And we've got Frank Jackson. Nice. For the Pelicans. Rookie Ascent autograph. For the Pelicans. And that's Luke. Two sixty six out of two ninety nine on that one, Luke. Thank you. Trey Lydon for the Denver Nuggets. Pau Gasol for the Grizz. Pau Gasol for the Grizz. Yeah, look how young he looks there. Wow. Derek White for the Spurs. Forty eight out of seventy five. Big game James Worthy on the post-game show, not happy with the Lakers' loss. James, James, Big game James saying that it was a pretty disappointing loss. The most disappointing loss of the season. I, I, I would say it's got to be up there. I mean, what are you going to do? It's still early in the season, but the Lakers had a lot of chances. I think that was that was the thing. Disappointing game for Lonzo Ball, though. He's got, he's got to do a little bit more than what he did tonight. You know, he was one for seven from the field. Six of those were three-pointers. He only made one of those, and that's it. So he, he went 0 for 6 from two points. One for six. Or 0 for one from two points. One for six with three points. Only had three points on the night. Had seven assists, five rebounds. Well, I have to admit, I don't think I really, I didn't really have high expectations of Lonzo Ball to score a lot of points. I, I, I suppose the inefficiency is con is the concern, but I didn't really expect him to score a lot of points. I think that was going to be taken care of by Contavious Caldwell Pope, like he did tonight. And spread out between you know Jordan Clarkson, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, Larry Nance Jr., and now the emergence of Kyle Kuzma kind of helps there too. So, so I'm okay with the points not quite being there, just as long as he keeps those assists numbers up, which I think is good, as long as he can distribute to all the people that want to score. Speaking of Lonzo Ball, there he is. Rookie Ascent autograph right on the card. Lonzo Ball. He's got a nice-looking auto. It's not bad. So nice Lonzo. And this is the UCLA shirt. 272 out of 299. 
It's a nice one for Jeremy Tillman has the Lakers again in this one. Nice one, Jeremy. That's pretty strong. There's Deer and Fox. Eric Gordon. Pull that Ben Simmons. I know it's not a rookie card, so it may not have as big a value as as his rookie cards in these Panini sets, but we'll set him aside just in case. People are still fired up about Ben Simmons. All right, nice Lonzo ball. Lonzo, all you got to do, though, is just to, just to get that efficiency in check a little bit. But hey, you're rebounding, playing a little defense, you know, distributing the ball, so the shot will come. Keep doing what you're doing. That's what I say. Quick look at uh, see we don't get too many opportunities to talk about basketball, so it's nice to do this. Um, but don't worry, but we'll be talking a lot of basketball this year because we're going to be getting a lot of 1718 basketball product. So keep your eyes on the basketball, the hoops game. Keep your eye on the on the big names, the big rookie names in hoops, right here and on on eBay too. And we'll discuss them here at Jazby's Hobbyland because you're going to see a lot of those big names getting some big dollars on a secondary market. All right, next box. We're a little over halfway there. Thanks, everybody. Let's breeze through these. We got BAM! Rookie Ascent autograph, BAM Adebayo. 281 out of 299 for the Heat. That'll go to Landon. Nice one, Landon. There's our autograph, one per box autograph. On average, they say, but if you're only getting one autograph per box, that better be better be guaranteed. There's Chris Paul uh, for New Orleans, actually. So New Orleans edition of Chris Paul. Look how young he looks there. We got Tony Bradley at 75. I know Todd's, Todd had the heat in the last break. He's like, of course. I was kind of hoping you had gone to bed, Todd, and you had not seen that, but there you are. <laughs> There's Clay Thompson out of 75 for the Warriors. But nice one for Landon and the Heat. Next box. Yeah, no chances, Todd. I was like, dang, Todd's still, Todd's still awake. He saw that. Isn't that how it goes, Todd? All right, Eastern Conference. It was actually looking at the Eastern Conference actually looking pretty good this season. Um, so after you know, we, haven't, we haven't gone through too many games as of yet. Still a lot of still a lot of games to go. Uh, Celtics are on top of the East, eighteen and four. Uh, Pistons at thirteen and six. They're a few games and a half back. Cavs are four games back, 13 and 7. Raptors, 12 and 7. Sixers playing really well. They've, they're currently in the fifth seed, 11 and 8. Pacers at 12 and 9. They have the same winning percentage, basically. Both five and a half games back. Wizards, 10 and 9. Miami Heat, 10 and 9. They're in the eighth seed. And the New York Knicks just on the outside looking in. Along with the Milwaukee Bucks, they're both at 500. Oh, I have, I have not seen those pictures yet, Todd. Been busy here, but I definitely will take a look at them later tonight. There's Jordan Bell for the Warriors. That'll be for Adam Copperman along with that Harrison Barnes. I'm setting those inserts aside, the ones that are flipped around. I'm assuming they are slightly shorter printed. 54 out of 129, so they'll be sleeved up and top loaded before they go out to you. 115 out of 125. Not see the autograph yet. Anuobi for the Raptors. That'll be for Luke. 
more Ben Simmons there. There's the auto. Caleb Swanigan, 129. Two, 129. Where did I get that? Did I just completely dyslexic myself there? 291 out of 299. Rookie Ascent. A little bit of a different pattern in the background. Trailblazers. That'll go to Jeff Goldendahl. There you go, Jeff. I know, Kobe Nation. I was, I was watching the game. I have a TV here. A lot of missed opportunities. There's Carly Towns, Stanley Johnson. All right. Next box. Good luck. Cruz says he called it, but in his head. I don't know if that counts, Cruz. Not sure if that counts. It's got to be on the record. Although you guys were talking about Caleb Swanigan in the previous break, I think. Uh, so previous box talked about the previously on NBA standings. Western Conference. Rockets, 16 and 4. The Warriors, 15 and 6. They lost to the Kings tonight. Spurs are 13 and 7. They're in the third seed. They, they seem to be seem to be ageless, that team. Trailblazers are 13 and 8, playing solid basketball. So are the Timberwolves, 12 and 8. Nuggets are doing well, 11 and 8. Pelicans are 11 and 9. Utah Jazz with the 8 seed at 9 and 11. Lakers at 8 and 11. I don't know if that counts tonight's game. Uh, 8 and 11, just on the outside looking in on a playoff spot. Although, long, long way to go before I even consider that. Thunder still struggling to find their identity. 8 and 11. Clippers, 7 and 11, etc., etc., so on and so forth. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the current standings as of, as of, ES, as of now. According to ESPN.com, I don't know if all of those have been updated just yet, but there they are. But should be another good basketball season ahead of us, folks. 41 out of 50, Sidarius Thornwell. Luke Kennard for the Pistons. Some more Ben Simmons. At a 125, Hassan Whiteside for the Heat. And Julius Randle, autograph, nice. 91 out of 99, nice Julius Randle, a little more Laker Joe Mojo. Going out to Jeremy Tillman. Yeah, Lou Williams was on fire for the Clippers. But just, just a lot, but just too many missed opportunities in that fourth quarter. All right, three boxes to go. We're making good time here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. This is a, a great start to the week. I normally don't do Mondays, but just because of just some various holiday scheduling, that's how it kind of worked out. I think by next week, we should be back to our regular Tuesday, Wednesday schedule. Yeah, David, truth or truth. Hashtag truth. Hashtag verdad. Eastern Conference is way stronger than people thought it would be. I agree. It's been looking pretty good. Everyone everyone, everyone just thought, hey, it's going to be uh, Celtics and Cavs just duking it out, and they'll leave everybody else in the dust. But no. Pistons are looking good. Raptors are looking good. Sixers are looking good. So there's a lot of teams that are right up there. The eighth seed has a 5-2-6 winning percentage in the East, and in the West, the eighth seed is Jazz with a 450 winning percentage. So there you go. So the, the demise of the Eastern Conference has been greatly exaggerated. All right, third to last box. Good luck, everybody. I like these, these, these inserts right here. I'm a fan. There's Jared Allen. For the Nets. There's CJ McCollum. Nice autograph. Another one for the Trailblazers. 35 out of 149. Jeff G.
Ben Simmons. There's Josh Hart. There's 70 out of 75, Dwayne Wade. That's Cavs edition of Dwayne Wade. Dwight Howard, Magic Edition. And what happened to what, what happened to Dwight Howard? Well, I guess he's still serv he's still more than serviceable, but I think everybody expected his career to go a little a little more differently than how it has been. Some people may point to attitude. I don't know. Maybe that's probably part of it. But I have a feeling that maybe you know some injuries got in the way. So maybe didn't make the adjustments that he needed to make to the to the rest of the league. But everyone thought he was going to get like this the big like super max contract or something like that from someone. Maybe the Lakers, something like that. And it'd be the face of a franchise and do all this sort of stuff, but it's bounced around quite a bit since the uh, since the Orlando Magic. I don't think anyone expected that. What it is with with Dwight Howard? He didn't didn't quite settle well in Los Angeles either. I think George, I think Dwight Howard, in my opinion, I I, I think mostly it's got to be physical. You know, some of those injuries are probably still lingering. Maybe didn't quite recover properly from them or something like that. You know, that always always going to affect a big man. But I think the other part of it may have been a little bit of the attitude. I think he may have thought of himself. He he may have put the cart before the horse, you know what I mean? I think he may have thought about Dwight Howard as a brand before he started thinking about Dwight Howard as the as the basketball player. This poor Zingas. Autograph, nice. The Pony. 59 out of 75. Nice poor Zingas auto popping up out of nowhere. Did not expect that. That'll be uh, for the Knicks. Jackie with the Knicks. Poor Zingas. Coming into his own, it's his team now. Knicks not playing half bad either. Anuobi for the Raptors. Kyle Lowry for the Grizz. There's Brandon Ingram. There's my boy Lonzo Ball. Nice insert there. There you go, Jackie. Jackie's happy. I would be too. Uh, there's Tyler Dorsey out of 129. Oregon product, right? That contender's draft picks really helped me kind of get a better idea of where some of these players go. 71 out of 75, Jalen Brown. For the Celtics, who rattle off a bunch of bunch of wins. They're looking good. Much to my chagrin as a Lakers fan. But I think I think the, the Lakers it might take a little bit more time for the Lakers, but I, I think the Lakers and Celtics are on a pretty good track to possibly reignite some postseason rivalry again. I'd love to see that happen. Have some of their young players battling against some of the Lakers' young players. You know the Lakers are going to get big free agents, at least one or two in the next year or two or three. They're, they're going to make something happen. One of one of these guys, Ingram or Kuzma or Lonzo Ball, one of these guys are going to be a star. All right, so it'll be interesting to see how all that how all that works out. All right, last box. See, we did it. Last box. Pick your team three. 17-18 Ascension Basketball, brand new release, looks good. Let's see what our last auto is going to be. Uh, keep an eye out on jazpiecehobbyland.com for more uh, hoops, ladies and gentlemen. 17-18 has a great, uh, a fantastic rookie class, a deep rookie class. So it's not just one guy that we're all chasing this year, no. I think it's going to be uh, a lot of different guys people are going to be chasing throughout the season. So keep joining us for more basketball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Last box, um, holiday scratchers as well. Let's not forget that. So here's what we're going to end with. We're going to end with the king out of 125. Got Frank ja Jackson insert for the Pelicans. Got Eric Gordon for the Clippers. Terrence Ferguson out of 129. And we've got Jonathan Isaac. Yes. 
for the Magic, Jonathan Isaac autograph. Nice. 16 out of 299. Orlando Magic, that'll be... Who has the Magic in this? Uh, Tim Mahoney. There you go, Tim. With the number six overall pick. I actually don't know how how has he been doing. Does anyone know? 16 out of 299. I don't think I've heard a lot about him. But still very early in the season. There's Tony Bradley for the Jazz. And that's it, folks. That's the sound. That's the sound of victory right there, folks. That, that is the sound of, of bonus prizes. All right, so let's go back to our list. Let's go with James and pick your team three down to Victor Z. Let's get everyone in this blank list on random.org. Let's roll the dice. Name on top after 10 times on the randomizer. Five and five. Ten times. We'll win that bonus prize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Robbie Pond. I don't, Robbie, I don't think I called your name. I don't think I called your number once this break, so that extra bonus goes to you, sir. I'm gonna drop my quarter right over here. All right, good luck, Robbie. All right, Robbie, let's see what you got. Good luck, Robbie. Good luck, Robbie. It's... Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen one of these yet. It's a Leonard Fournette autographed 8x10 photo. Oh, I know where we got these. We got, we, I'm pretty sure we got these from the, uh, the rookie premiere, the Panini rookie premiere earlier this year. Those are nice 8x10 photos right there. Nice. So that's on its way to you, Robbie. That's a nice hit. Thank you for getting to the break, folks. That was Ascension Basketball number 3, 3 from 1718. Great rookie class in here. There will be some more hoops on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.